All right, bright <laughs> sunny day. Again, dogs want to make noise when I'm filming. Uh, I don't know what they want. What do y'all want, huh? What do you want? It's like sometimes they want food. I don't know. Anyways, they got plenty of food, so. Try to do this sort of, I feel so good outside when everyone is in January. Anyways, this is our drive shaft loop. Let me zoom out. Our it defaults to one X, do half X. Uh, so this is our torque arm with drive shaft loop. And we're missing a piece. Oh, let me find it. We're missing a piece that actually connects the tunnel together. Yeah. There's our hardware. Uh, I'm going to find that piece, and the next clip's going to be me under the car. All right, let me zoom out a little bit. I need to do that before I hit record a little more. So, of course, we got the racing red, you know. Ah, I don't know. It just, I did it. Don't judge me. So, here's a drive shaft loop. Of course, I might have this backwards. Uh, I believe it's going to mount something like that. We have our, I didn't have this box out earlier. This is our bolts. I'll pull them out. I did go BMR. I tried to go UMI since uh, I went with a whole kit UMI, but apparently they had issues with back orders. But usually when you put in these at the market torque arms, these mountain plates are a lot thicker. My shot, sorry, my shadow. But they're a lot thicker than OEM. So your stock bolts will be a little bit short. So, um... You have to really watch with your bolts constantly coming loose. These are that little bit longer to make up for this thickness and you still get locking nuts. So you can actually put this in and forget about it. You know, I'll, I do, um, let's see, how should I say, encourage, you know, like an annual check, you know, bolts. But you shouldn't have to go cruise up and down the road and worry about your bolts coming loose type stuff, you know. Locking nuts uh we do got instructions which i'll be using these bolts already came with my subframe connectors um i know these brackets is pretty much how it's going to connect from this polyurethane mount to take it my other poly polyurethane mount up front um not sure where these going to go definitely going to use instructions this drive shaft loop so uh it's going to be these bolts and then that black one's that's our spacer. It's gonna go in the middle to keep you from crushing it when you bolt this. I think it's gonna be easy. The only part that's gonna get kind of complicated is when I put these in and then um, doing our adjustment. We do have a pinion uh, angle gauge, thanks to Alex for still letting me use it. He hasn't asked it back yet. Um, but so I will be setting our angle cause you know, vibration and then there's kind of like a racing setting you want to or helps a better bite so we'll be setting it up for that and then uh let's just see where we go um this was a manual car before we're going auto we're chasing 60 foots we're chasing ease we're chasing family be able to drive it uh we are stepping on the cuff of race car stuff this is probably as far as i'm going to go uh suspension is coney yellows uh this is kind of like the last frontier other than a turbo it's going 4080 so let's uh let's put it in finally remembered to uh zoom out before recording but so this should be like video three or four i did have to drop the transmission cross member that wasn't here um because i did have the torque arm still in it so it overlapped the area where the cross member would be so it's either to drop it it's just four or 15 millimeters uh so you see our subframe connector and then how i explained it had an h pattern and then that's what connects us to our drive shaft loop i already stripped out these um these threads here so that, to me that's why it's so important to have this h pattern now i wouldn't have known this if the system didn't come as a kit because I would have just bought it and hooked it up to these sheet metal pieces. And then potentially if I, dr I drive my cars 
and potentially I probably would have ripped out the uh, nut certs or however it's threaded in here. So you can see I just added a nut on top of this and, and torqued it down. Probably should do something over here. Um, I just quit with the Ugga Duggas a little sooner. But you can see how our drive shaft loop is. Um, this does have some uh, additional hole. You can see it here. Let me see if I can get a better angle. Uh, da, 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 da. There it is. There it is. So I got to do some reading, but I don't think I would use that hole unless I like my angle is wrong. Um, going to the rear, you see our longer bolts. I was very scared I was going to have to drop the rear end because I wanted the bolts to come in from the top. And um, the reason behind that is, is if these nuts fall off, at least my bolt is still in place. If I put the bolt from the bottom up, if the nuts rattle off, then the bolts fall off. So it's kind of like thinking forward. And um, so I was in aviation for a little while and that's how you thought is what if that, that nut falls off? At least that bolt will still be there and you hopefully hear it clink clink before this actually rattles off because if this comes off this is the only thing that keeps this pinion from going up and down and if that gets out of whack and then your drive shaft's gone and you'll pull bolt like i did when i was 16. anyways so i didn't tighten these down i'm not sure if i should have or not because looking at it it's going to be adjustable i was thinking i might have to take these off but after getting it in the car, I should have just went ahead and torqued these down for I, I put it in. But neither here nor there. I'll tighten it down like a wrench, you know, one turn at a time or something. Super happy. Uh, another reason this is a huge benefit is because with the transmission out of the car, I had to use a ratchet strap to secure um, the pinion because it just make the rear end just bounce up and down. Now this is actually bolted to the chassis and it's solid. So hopefully, you know, you ain't rolling your car around without a transmission too much. But, you know, this is just options now. It's easier to roll and there ain't as much shifting and everything. So I'm gonna uh, tighten those two bolts down. I'm going to research on how to adjust my pinion. And hopefully I can just put a jack under the uh, rear end and jack it up to what's close to ride height and get it close and then I can dial it in later. Anyways, I uh, don't know if I do another video. If not, uh, to the next one.